Hey guys, let's make a simple player camera zoom and a right click aim zoom. For this setup, our camera is placed slightly to the right of our player's head for a third person shooter. So if you want to copy this exact style, I'll also have that included later in this video. Let's start with our aim. Since this part's really simple, we just need to make a new input action for our right click. So open your content browser, go to wherever you have your inputs. In the default template, it's here in input actions. And you're gonna right click, scroll down to input, and create a new input action. Name this IA aim, and then add this to your input mapping. So we're gonna add a new action mapping, select our aim, and set this to your right mouse click. So now that we have our input, we're gonna add this to our character. So if you go to your third person character folder, go to blueprints and open your third person character. In your event graph here, we're gonna right click, type AI aim. And we're gonna use this enhance input action. So from triggered, we're gonna do a timeline. And we're gonna name this aim zoom. And you also want from completed to reverse it. That way you can zoom in and out. And now we're gonna open this up. We're gonna add a float track and we're gonna name this zooming. And now we can right click, add a new key. And our first key is gonna be zero, zero. Set this back to the beginning. And we're gonna add a new key and make this 0 0.2 and one. So it's gonna create this even line here, but to make it smooth, we're gonna right click this and set this to auto and right click our first key and set that to auto. So now you'll have this curved line here. And if you click this here, you can view it better. And now we can compile and save, go back to our event graph. And from updated, we're gonna do set field of view to our follow camera. And from zooming, we're gonna add a lerp. So if you hold control on A, we're gonna move this down to alpha and A is gonna be your field of view. By default, it's at 90 degrees. You can check that by clicking your follow camera here and typing in field and you'll see it right here, 90 degrees. And so B is a value that we can play with, but I found 50 works best here. And now this is gonna be our field of view result. And you can now compile save. Now we're gonna go back to our level and test this. So when you right click and then let go, you should be able to. Okay, so it's still holding as long as you're right clicking and then letting go the amount of time. So inside our timeline here, this length should actually be at 0 0.2 to make, make this fast. There we go. That way, every time you let go, it zooms in and out quickly. Now you're set and you have a nice looking aim zoom. This will look better once your scroll camera is closer and to the right of your character. So let's do that now. And before we do that, let's finish up our aim here and name this right mouse button aim zoom. I'm just gonna give this a color. And change our font. All right, and there we go. So for our normal scrolling zoom, we're gonna set up our follow camera now. Go to your viewport and we're gonna change our values right here to be 116, 27, and 78.5. And then under our rotation, we're gonna do negative 10 here on our pitch. And there we go. It should be a little bit to the side and at an angle. We're gonna compile save. And now we're gonna start building our scroll zoom. So instead of using a enhanced input for our mouse scroll, we're gonna use mouse wheel axis and for this we're going to also need two variables so both of these are going to be floats and one is going to be our zoom target and our next one is going to be our zoom start so we're going to compile up here at the top so now we can put in our values on the right so for our zoom start we're going to have this at 15 and our zoom target is going to be 420 which is gonna be our max um, zoom out length. And now that we have those set, we can come all the way out to here and we're going to set our zoom target. And then we're going to set our zoom start. All right, 
Now we're going to plug in these two values. So I gave some space here so we can make these. So from here, we're going to do multiply. And this value here is going to be negative 50. And now we're going to take our camera boom or spring arm, whatever your camera is attached to. And we're going to drag that out into here from your components. And we're going to get target length, target arm length. And then this is going to go to an add. And now we're actually going to move this pin down here. And then our output from our multiply is going to go here. And now our add output is going to go to a clamp float with our minimum being 180 and our maximum being our zoom target, which is 420. And now this output is going to be our zoom target. For our zoom start, we're going to want our target arm length from here to be our zoom start. You can double click to uh, make this a little more organized. And now we can do our timeline. So we're going to add our timeline. We're going to name this zooming. And now we can open this up. We're going to add a flow track just like before. And this, we're going to name this zooming. And you want to do our length to 0 0.2. So we don't forget that like before. And now we're going to add our first key. Same thing. We're going to do 0, 0. And then our second key is going to be 0 0.1 and 0 0.7. And just like before as well, we're going to right click this and set this to auto. And set this to auto. And then we'll have our smooth line here. So we're going to compile, save, go back to our graph. And now our zooming is going to go to a lerp with our zoom start and target outputs all meeting together here. And now we're going to set the target arm length. And for that, we need to grab our arm length from our camera boom over here. So we're going to do set target arm length and this we can organize throw this up here and now our output of our alert is going to be our new target arm length and we're just going to plug in our update from our timeline and this is going to be our zoom so we're going to compile save and throw a comment on this to be Mouse wheel, player zoom in. Um, just gonna grab the same color from here. And set this to 30. Just to stay a little more organized. And now we have both of our zooms. And now we can compile save. Now go back to our level and we can test this out. And this is not right. Okay, so what was wrong here was the order of these pins. So actually our zooming should be our alpha and not A. That was my mistake. So our start should be A and our target should be B. And now compile save. And there we go. Now you have your normal mouse wheel scroll zoom in and out. And you also have your right click aim zoom so now you can zoom all the way up close to the head with the camera placed to the right zoom in and you have a really cool look now there's many ways you can set this up this is just a style i've been working with right now and i actually really like how this feels so if this helped anybody or if you also like this style um leave us a like and subscribe and i'll be back next week with another video so until next time i'll see you guys